The haters came out in full force when I reviewed Sally Slice's Corleone frozen pizza. They said I had a special pizza made. They said I doctored it up. I didn't do a thing to it. I just cooked it slightly differently than the directions say. So when the directions say bake from frozen, I don't do that. I defrost it. When it says 450, I go 475. So let's do it again, shall we? There we go. The haters said there's nothing to the pizza. They don't put anything on it. One pound, 13 ounces. That's almost two pounds. That's what I do, right on the baking steel. After exactly 15 minutes, we'll pull it out, rest it on this baker's rack to let the moisture from underneath escape. And after about three minutes of allowing it to rest here, I'm going to put it right back on the baking steel for about 30 seconds to finish that crisp. And there's the finished product. Take a look underneath. Hot. You can use these quick tips to improve the crispiness of any pizza, not just frozen pizza. So a little bit higher temp, defrost it all the way, use a baking steel, let the moisture go out, and kiss it back on the baking steel, and you'll have a crispy pizza no matter where you get it from.